hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will learn what is service container in laravel first of all what is service container basically service container is a powerful tool for manage the class dependency and you have a question what is the class dependency and dependency injection the dependency injections means you can inject all of the classes via constructor and sometime you can use getter and setter matter using the instance and object of the class so let's take one example and show you the dependency injections practically here well documentation given by the laravel but i try to show you with the practical and you can also follow this documentation as well I have created controllers and service and inject that service in one controller so let me open and show you so you can easily understand for example this is the category controller and I want to category data from the data source and from the database so I created category service and you can say repository to service as well so i specify name category repository let me go to the category repository and show you and this repository extend the one of the concrete class base repository this is the base repository and you can see here i create this base repository with the abstract class and this class have a constructor as well but no need to specify anything to resolve these dependency because this base repository is independent and no need anything from child class for resolve this repository and some abstract methods here declared and used in this repository all the queries fire in this base repository using the category repository into the controller so when this controller is executed this instance created using the constructor call this repository and store category repository instance in this variable and we can use in each and every function you can see here so it's called dependency injection in this tutorial we learn two things first one is zero configuration resolution we learn right now this is the example of the zero configuration resolution when this category repository is compiled and execute no need to give anything to this base repository so base repository is concrete class but no need to give anything for resolve this class sometime this class is dependent and we need to declare here constructor and pass to the super constructor using super method but no need to pass anything so this is the zero configuration resolution example second thing is when use the container first of all i show you laravel container let me dd the app this app method provide full instance and full container of the laravel application which is i show you here and you can see here everything stored into the app container and you can see here all the service which is core service of the laravel and i created all service loaded and bind in this bindings 85 service binding in this application all the cache and routing everything and all the service and containers resolve by and register by the service provider we learn deeply service provider in next tutorial but let me show you 
some brief overview of the service provider you can see here all the service providers is listed here and you can create on as well and two methods in service provider you can see here auth service provider and uh, broadcast event route service providers all the routes are region from here and one more thing is we have one config file is app dot config let me show you all the service provider all of laravel core and our own some packages we are using into the laravel application all the providers are specified and listed here and resolve from here you can see here this is the providers list and all the providers are available here so this is the service provider and we need to bind any of the service we can bind into the provider and resolve it from the provider so if i want to bind one of my service category repository i need to do some code here you can bind manually any of the service for example i give repository here and specify instance of the category repository and let me return the data of the category using instance of the category repository and specify all method this all method is defined into the base repository let's refresh the browser and you can see here we got all the raw data of the category from the database so you can inject this service and repository manually as well and let me show you bind this category repository into the app using app function and specify bind method bind method take two argument second is function and let me specify dollar app so you can get instance of the app here and let me specify this category class here because we are going to bind this category repository let me remove this and this one as well and as a resolution we are written instance of the category repository so return new we can create instance of the any class using new keyword so this is the method we can bind this class using this syntax basically we need to bind the service using the provider we need to write this code inside the provider but for the example i show you into the route right now let me comment first it and show you the current app instance go to the browser and refresh and right now 85 bindings you can see here now let me uncomment this and save and refresh it again and now you can see here binding is 86 because category repository now bind with this application and you can see here the concrete class as well and shared everything let me open and you can see here the everything regarding the category repository so you can easily bind any of these service with the bind method lots of another method provided by the laravel we will learn bindings 
and all these methods in next tutorial stay tuned thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you